Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. Uh, so I am traditionally a fair weather photographer. I don't go out if it's raining, too cold, too windy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but a few months ago, I made a promise to myself to go out three weekends minimum every month and try and get shots when it's raining or cold or snowing or whatever. And so this morning I woke up and it was snowing, not particularly heavy, but heavy enough, as you can see from this shot. And I checked the forecast. Snow was supposed to finish by noon. It's 8.30. I quickly got dressed and hopped on a bus and went downtown. And um, this is one of the results. And so what I want to do, or what I did earlier, is I processed a few shots. And just like this shot, you can't really see that the snow is falling. But after processing it, I managed to pull out the snow and you could really see that it was there. So these aren't big flakes. They're really uh, small flakes and obviously they're getting lost in the picture until it gets processed. And it also works for color here. So what I want to do is take this shot and show you how I pulled out the snow that is in the air that you cannot see from the beginning. Let's get to it. So I'm going to start off uh, just by doing a few quick edits and develop the photo. And we'll check out what the camera profiles give us. Okay, so on one vivid seems pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll go with on one vivid. And one of the things I like about this shot here is we've got this woman and her child and they're throwing snowballs at each other. We've got the gift boxes or presents in the background. We've got part of uh, the dog fountain, which is kind of this well-known little park in downtown Toronto. Uh, so it kind of makes like a little bit of a festive scene. And uh, one of the other things I need to do before going further is straighten the shot because I totally blew the horizon. So hit crop, grab the level tool, draw a line along this building. And I find this pole is a little distracting, but maybe if we pull it up to the edge of the shot, so it acts like a natural frame, that might work. And we'll pull this in a little bit tighter, and I'm going to crop it here. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. And let's hit AI match. And then AI Auto, kind of like what AI Auto has done. And even just AI Auto, I'm not sure if it'll show up in YouTube, but you can see more of the snow already. So let's play around with this a little bit. I'm going to pull the highlights back, drop the shadows a little bit, up the midtones a little bit more, increase the contrast. And play with the haze. Now we'll just put the haze back where it was. And then let's pop into the effects tab. And I'm going to convert this to black and white because I think it'll look much better as black and white. And let's check which black and white in the filter works Adele, blue. Uh, I like chrome. And just right away, Chrome is already even pulling out more of those snowflakes. Coffee, deep blacks, green, high key. Uh, inky is kind of nice. Really makes it nice and, and, and bright. And neutral. You know what? I'm going to go with inky for this one. So let's do inky and hit the J key. 
Okay, no, no whites are overblown, but we've got some pure blacks. So, you know, we can, we'll play around with that a little bit. Let's take a look at the tone. Maybe we'll pull the blacks up a little bit. Okay, that's good. And I want to make it a little bit brighter even. Okay. All right, so the key to this effect, to pulling out the snow that I discovered, was using dynamic contrast. Just right off the bat, you can see a lot more snowflakes. I hit natural, and then boost the small by about 15. And there it is. Now we've got a lot more snowflakes in the scenes. And if I turn preview off, not many snowflakes, and there's a lot more snow. It feels much more like a, a winter uh, scene. So maybe we'll even pull the snowflakes up, or snowflake the small on dynamic contrast up even more. No, let's keep it around 15 or so. I think this does a really nice job here. Uh, what I also did in the other shots was grab a tone enhancer and made the highlights lighter. And we'll just, we're starting to get some clipping. So I'm gonna probably pull back on that a little bit. And we can, Okay, so this is looking very white. And actually what I'm gonna do is pull this back. I'm gonna mask the top of the scene because that's where most of the clipping is up here. It's not even all that much to be worried about, but I don't need that to be particularly bright. Okay, close that up, pull those highlights back up, and increase that a little bit. Actually, yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. Okay. So this is basically pulling out small snowflakes from a, that you know are there, but they're not showing up in your raw photo. Uh, dynamic contrast, pull up on the smalls, and basically boost your contrast without making the photo too crunchy. Uh, another one you could pull in here is maybe adding in a curves filter like a little S curve to draw up the contrast. And I think that did a nice thing. And one last effect, which if you watched the video about uh, read the manual uh, blur or glow, is glow adds a soft focus. And so depending on the glow, it may or may not work with this scene. Let's see what we got. What is that? Diffuse glow? That kind of works. You know what? Actually, I don't think glow is going to work with this shot. So I'm just going to close the glow filter. And I'm going to call this an edit. Uh, if you uh, enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram, Vero, and my website, seansmith.net. Links in the description below. If you do follow me on Instagram, leave a comment. Let me know that you found me from the YouTube channel. I would love to hear that, and I'd probably follow you back. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas.